What up, what up, MCG family? This is Calvin with the Muscle Car Gang, back with another video. I got an update. It seems that my Chevelle is falling apart. But nevertheless, let's get into this video. Let's go. All right, so what we got is a dead battery. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hop out, grab the cables, charge up, see if we can get some fire to the battery, give you guys a problem that I'm having with the wiring. Just found out the wiring is all rusted out. Transmission won't shift when going to drive. It seems like every uh, drop stays into neutral. All right, so let's get a charge, be back. So I know she's a little dirty. She's been in uh, hibernation for a while. Let's see if we can get some juice. All right. Okay. See, my dog don't, don't like them work. I'll show you guys. Having a big electrical problem with the Chevelle. But nevertheless, let's give her some gas. All right, so we definitely got power now. A little gas. Come on, baby. She's Let's get her out, let's get her out, let's get her out. Let me drop the hood down. There we get the trunk down. All right, baby, let's go. All right, so here's my little transmission problem I've been having. All right, come on, baby, get in drive, get in drive. All right. Let's go. Right. Come on. All right, see my drive is reverse. I gotta figure out what's going on with that. When I drop it down, it doesn't go forward. Come on. See, it doesn't. Come on now. So if you ever had this problem, please come in below and let me know what you think it could be. Park work, reverse doesn't work. This is neutral and neutral goes into reverse. Uh, I'm gonna drop it down, all the way down. All right, so it only goes when I drop it all the way down in one. So back to park. 
reverse. It doesn't go in reverse. That's a neutral. That's a neutral. And three goes in reverse. Uh, and one goes into drive. All right, all right, all right, all right. I definitely have to figure that out. Okay, I definitely have to figure that out. Please, in the comments, if you've had this problem before with your car, let me know what the issue could be. Oh, it's a beautiful, beautiful Chevelle. Uh, just having a lot of problems with it now uh, the previous owner the previous owner said he did a mild restoration on him but it seemed like I'm starting to having a lot of problems out of it now so please comment below if you know what this issue could be how to fix it uh, it's a previously rebuilt uh, turbo 350 transmission uh, the 454 uh, has, has been rebuilt So I also have to figure out why it's shaking like that. A few, a few people told me it could be the mount. Some told me it could be the tuning on it. So we're gonna check it out. All right, so let's check out. All right, so let me check out the wiring on the car one second. All right, so um trying to figure out the transmission problem uh so that's one of the things i've been dealing with that's why i'm not able to drive the car as much as i like it i, I trust me i love to drive my chevelle beautiful chevelle in and out uh, that's before i do uh a rebuild on it but i just want to enjoy the car <laughs> before i get to do all that so i definitely have to check out why the transmission is doing that please comment below also don't forget if you're new to the channel please don't forget to like and subscribe hit that subscribe button all right so now let's check out another problem i'm having with the chevelle is the wiring now the previously owner told me he did some wiring on him but as i can see it's kind of mixed with old wiring and new wiring uh, it's a trip it's a whole nother thing it's crazy so uh check this out guys all right so here we go here we go so it seems that this old fuse box has been causing a lot of problems with the Chevelle. Um, lights always going out. Fuse are always blowing. Smells smoke. Uh, I think this is one of the reasons why the radiator was always not working, blowing fuses all the time. And uh, once I had it checked out the first time, Said could this could be one of the reasons why I it to short a lot and it's also missing a hell of a lot of fuses. So it's definitely one of the things I'm checking out and looking into. But I said, you know, forget about it. I'm just gonna go ahead and update the wire, the whole complete wiring on the car. So I went ahead and bought me a complete up-to-date wiring. So since I did the wiring on the car. I just said, what the heck, let me just go ahead and continue to buy all new things for it. So this is definitely one of the things I'm having a problem with. I know, you know, as you guys see it, it you probably say it's best to go ahead and update it as fast as you can. So, and I said, since I'm gonna go ahead and do that, I went in ahead and bought updated headlights. I bought a new, This is seeming like it's a lot of wires are everywhere on the car. Had a problem with the wiring with the radiator. So since I bought the new wiring on the car, I said, well, hell, let me just go ahead and buy a complete new Dakota digital dash for it. I uh, bought a new trans tunnel. I bought the electrical uh, windows. So 
since I'm buying a wiring, I might as well just go ahead and buy all the new things I'm gonna upgrade with the car. Also purchase a tilt steering wheel for the car and as well as a new uh, steering wheel for the car. So I'm gonna get prepared for the new vintage air system I have for the car. So this is just a ton of parts that I've been buying for it and getting ready for the rebuild. Fuck, battery did again. So we kept it running. But that's one of the, a lot one of the problems I've been having on the car as well. So I got the transmission, I got the wiring, I got to figure out why the engine shakes when I crank it up. Uh, a few of my guys told me to check the motor mounts, check the tuning on it. Uh, recently, just had a complete tune on it, so I got to figure out what's the issue with that. So, if you guys have any clues, any updates. Uh, maybe these some things that I can get fixed before I do the rebuild so I can really just enjoy the car. Uh, I'm quite sure some of you guys have experienced a lot of these things. Radiator runs good. It's just the wiring on the car that I have to tighten up and get better. So let me know in the comments, guys. So that's a few of the things I'm dealing with with the Chevelle. I don't think they're too, too bad, but they're causing a lot of trouble. So therefore I need to hop on top of these things as soon as possible. So if you guys, some of the experts that are in the, uh, in my comments that follow the page, be sure to like the video, subscribe, drop all your knowledge in the comments below. I definitely want to hear it uh, before I take it to the shop and get it checked out. I definitely want to be knowledgeable about it when I go. So look guys, drop the comments in below. If you've already experienced this, if you've helped someone else with theirs before, drop it in the comments below. So, yep, that's my 70 Chevelle. Uh, Till next time, guys. Peace.